Okay, everybody. So this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and today is the 28th of September 2021. And in this video, I'm going to uh, do a live extemporaneous overview of the new Podia community platform. This is Podia's entry into the community building space uh, analogous to, saw, to something like uh, Circle or Tribe or Mighty Networks or uh, Buddy Press or any of those sorts of analogs. Now, I am actually looking at this for the first time. This just released today. They haven't, other than a video uh, sort of walkthrough of the features, I have not yet seen how my own community is going to look using their community uh, functionality. There are There have been some predicates or sort of things they've required us to do as users, really only one thing, which is creating topics for our community, because as of today, what was previously considered memberships in the parlance of Podia is now community. So this here at the top, you'll see this tab used to be memberships, and now it's community. I have no idea what to expect, right? So I'm just going to do this in a live way. Maybe I'll fuck some stuff up as I'm going through it. But you'll see all that and you'll get a sense of whether this is a good alternative for you relative to what you're using right now. I will say that regardless of what you're doing in the world right now as a creator, as a maker, as a marketer, as a leader in you know whatever niche or space or vertical or industry you're in, author, you know, bo writing books, whatever it is, building a community is really going for the sort of secret sauce that all of us need to incorporate into our um, platforms, into our products, into our uh, publishing platforms, etc. So I do recommend picking some uh, software to use. Uh, we use Circle now, and now we also, um, you know, are using, I mean, I've been using Podia too. So I have multiple platforms that I've been using for quite some time. Uh, we use Mighty Networks, Body Press, all those things. Community has always been a big part of my own kind of ethos and approach. Uh, and now we are ha we have the benefit of uh, being able to incorporate community directly into our Podia uh, platform. So let's look and see what we have. Now, this is the homepage. This is the most recent post that I shared. I'm actually going to turn that music down, so give me one second. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is a recent post that I shared. Um, you know, again, it's pinned, I believe. That's why it's showing up at the top, I think. Here's another post. All right, so this is the kind of content stream that I had before making any updates to the commun community layout and all that sort of thing. So uh, here's me, creator, this is the topic that it, it's assigned to, and I just created these topics here. If you go to all topics, you'll see all the topics, right? So these are the topics that I just created in the last few days leading up to the 28th, which is today. This is a default topic. It has 577 members. Some of these have zero members because they're brand new, right? So free resources, I just created that. How to write a book that changes the world, I just created that. Featured, I just created that. General is another default topic, so it has 577 members. These are all the people who were previously subscribed to our membership uh, on Podia. All right, this is mental health professionals only. This is private, so this is only going to be uh, available on a premium plan to folks who sign up for this. Okay, so this is all the topics. Now let's go to settings. And again, I'm just going through this in a discovery sort of way. I have no idea what to expect. Actually, I don't know that I kind of want to, I don't necessarily want to do this. I'm going to do this quickly. I'll just show you what the members tab looks like. So these are all the members of our community. I kind of don't want to show people's names, you know, but again, it doesn't really matter for the moment. I'm not going to spend a real time on that. I don't want people's names being shown on uh, the video, but again, they're part of the community. Their names were, you know, they signed up. So, uh, you know, when they're interacting on the community anyway, their names are, are showing. So anyway, that's 
my ham-handed way of explaining that. All right, so that's members, but that's going to be an, an important part of our uh, platform going forward is having this interactivity that membership uh, offers us so people can interact with each other um, or interact with me or interact by sharing posts and topics and all that sort of stuff, I think, right? So let's look at some of the plans here are, I mean, basically my entire platform on Podia is free with the exception of products, which are being, uh, which are fee based. So all of these are the individual plans that I have subscribed members to. So platform uh, is free, collect, connect, and convert. 20 members, no, you can see all this in front of you, right? 80 members, 17 members. 255 members. So these are all various plans that previously uh, we were using on our platform that are still here, but are now they, they now need to be upgraded to this new um, uh, community functionality. So let's 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 look at the banner thing here. All right, your banner image should be da, 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 should appear at the top of the home feed and during new member onboarding. It's a good opportunity. To present okay so that makes sense right I would actually change this like I'm gonna change all of this stuff I'll probably do this off of video so I'm not boring people with every single change I make let's see if I search images so you can actually let's search for a mindfulness image on unsplash oh, shit wait where did that go Let's edit this image. This is how you edit the image. Now I'm gonna choose my own image ultimately, but for right now I'm just gonna search because I think a lot of people really appreciate. Let's let's look, let's search for a psychedelic image on Unsplash. Why is that that's oh, is that applying that? I don't know. Maybe that's even applying my banner. I'm not sure. See, there you have it. I was just searching to pick an image, and it seems like it's actually it wants to do something there. So let's try that one more time. That's not really the way I expected that to work. Oh, fuck. Wait. Excuse my language. I'm sorry about my language. All right. Let me see. All right. So I want to pick one of these images. And let's say this one. All right. So there is my banner. Now I'm saving it. Boom, now I got a banner image. All right, again, I'm gonna change this later, but for the time being, all right, we're gonna leave that because I'm gonna make a change to that that's a little bit more carefully um, contemplated, right, than I'm doing here with this. But this is the image we already have associated with our membership, so it's gonna stay. Okay, so let's go back to home and see what this looks like. Ah, there you have it. So there's that image, right? And new post, post title, choose or drag a, a video file here, write your content. What is this here? Attach files. Yeah, I mean, Podia really does this exceptionally well already. So it's no surprise that this is going to be really uh, nicely done here as well. I don't want to attach an image there. And the one thing I want to make sure that I don't do is every time I write something, I don't want to email my uh, community. In the previous membership, uh, area where you when you added a post you would get the option to either stick the post to the top of uh, make it a sticky post um, to email your audience when you posted it so that your your post would actually go out to everybody which is a really great feature but as I'm sort of learning this on the fly certainly nothing I write here in this extemporaneous you know way do I want people being notified of because that's annoying, right? So uh, I'm gonna skip 
actually adding a post. I'll do that in another video. But here's where you actually assign a topic to your post, and this would get then curated into that particular uh, topical stream. Let's see. All right, so what I'm going to do actually is I am going to stop the video and then I'm going to do another, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post something once I'm comfortable. I'm not sending it out to everybody because I don't see that field anymore. So I don't see where I just need to make sure I'm not notifying 577 people uh, that I'm adding a post because I'm not ready to write something that I want people to read. Um, but once I add a post and can sort of stress test that it's not emailing everybody. I'll show you exactly what that looks like, but you can see that here. All right, let's look really quickly at editing. Let's view the page. Let's see what this looks like to the public. All right, so this is actually the previous landing page that I had set up for the community as it, as it was yesterday, All right? So that's the same. Let me go back now. And if I edit page, let's see what that does. Okay, so that brings me into the editor where I'm actually editing the home page of my community, I think. Right? I think this is actually going to allow me to set the landing page for the community itself that then people would see the view that you just looked at, that I just looked at with the posts and the you know, the um, banner and all that sort of stuff. All right, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just walking through this in real time. This is new as of today. It just was released. It was, we knew it was coming, but no one really, or at least no one that I know, actually saw the details as I'm seeing them now for the first time. So I'm really excited about this. I mean, it, it, it presents a really skillful way of incorporating all of the, facets of your products, your digital downloads, your affiliate program, your email marketing, your, um, you know, your entire publishing platform, your coaching, all this can now have a tent, have, have a complementary community that runs next to all your products, all your programs, and you have the ability to give your purchasers, your clients, your customers access to all this extra content that is delivered through the community interactivity uh, you know audience engagement uh, cohorts all that stuff can now be done so it's not this one directional experience anymore someone buys a product they read a pdf or they take a course and then they're sort of on their own now you can incorporate community cohorts audience interactivity engagement opportunities uh, upsells, I don't really like that word to be honest, but you have the ability to deepen the relationship you have with your clients and your customers by dint of offering these more interactive experience post-purchase. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Podia is awesome. Uh, it, you know, it's been a, a sort of a push and pull experience recently with Circle being so good now. Circle continues to be a really, really good and, and I like Circle a lot, but and I'm going to continue to use both, uh, but I may actually move our mindful marketplace uh, sort of community product off of Circle and back onto Podio, where all of the products we're delivering currently are already being offered, simply because the products are already being offered on our Podio store, right? So if you look at all this, we have all this stuff that's already being delivered on Podio, and why move folks into the community uh, engagement on Circle when we can just, you know, give them this complimentary community experience right here on the platform that they're actually purchasing the products from us uh, directly. So anyway, that's the first little tutorial that I'm giving if I, or I'm offering. If I can call this a tutorial, it's more kind of a chaotic sort of collision with what I'm seeing here on Podia community, but I'm going to learn a lot more about how to use this. And I'm certainly excited to share that with my own clients, my own community, and something like this I'll, pu I'll publish on YouTube as well. So those of you who are interested in kind of learning uh, what community may have to offer on Podia, uh, you know, if it may or may not be a good fit for 
you. Again, if you sign up for Podia using our affiliate link, I will give you, or using our Mindful Marketplace affiliate link, I'll give you a, a access to all sorts of extra stuff that will help you really quickly create content, courses, and community of your own. And that's pretty much it. So uh, if you do do that, send an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com, or just get in touch with me any place you see me online. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you, as always, so much for watching, and I'll talk to everyone soon.